Welcome to the Desiato District of Northeastern Santa Cruz Province, Argentina, the home of Cerro Moro, Xtori's flagship project. Located close to the port town of Puerto Desiato, access to the Cerro Moro project can be done by traveling 20 kilometers northwestward towards the town of Tellier, followed by a further 90 kilometers southwest to the project's turnoff. From this turnoff, an additional 12 kilometers must be traveled along the private access road to reach the mining complex facilities. Cerro Moro is currently an advanced stage exploration project in which more than 30 mineralized structures have been identified. The most important vein deposits are called Escondida, Esperanza, Gabriela, and Deborah. These four veins will feed the plant which will process 750 tons of mineralized material per day. Based on the resources discovered to date, the life of the mine is estimated to be eight years of operation. The most important vein is Escondida, with an approximate length of two kilometers along a northwest-southeast strike. The central and east Escondida operation will start as an open pit and will reach a depth of 50 meters. Then it will be continued as an underground operation. The far west Escondida vein will be totally developed as an underground operation. A 2,325 meter long ramp will be constructed down to a depth of 240 meters. It is estimated that the ramp construction will take place in early 2011. Gabriela, Esperanza, and Deborah will all be developed using both underground and open pit methods. The underground operation shall be carried out by means of cross adits from the main ramp to access the mineralized vein, which is divided into extraction units called stopes. For the development of stopes, two galleries will be constructed, one on the upper part and one on the lower part, thus allowing ore extraction by means of the following operations. Drilling. At this stage, pits are constructed and then they are loaded with explosives for blasting. Later, the material is transported to the process plant in 25-ton trucks. Part of the barren rock will be placed in waste dumps to be then reused for backfilling in the underground stopes. The remaining material will be deposited together with the scrub tailings, an innovative system for the joint disposal of barren material and tailings, which will then be restored and revegetated. The mineralized material coming from the deposits will be placed in a stockpile. In this way, the extraction stage is finished and the process stage is started. From the stockpile, the 
material will be fed into a jaw crusher and two cone crushers. The objective of the crushing phase is to reduce the size of the rock to approximately 6 centimeters. Upon completion of the crushing stage, the mineralized material will enter the grinding stage for its size to be further reduced. Afterwards, the product obtained will follow two distinct stages. A flash flotation and gravity concentration stage with the purpose of recovering the coarse gold, a fraction that will contain 65% of the gold and silver, which will then be treated by intense leaching and electro-winning. A conventional leaching stage in tanks by means of closed circuit. The pregnant solution will then be treated with the Merrill Crow method. All the material coming from the electro-winning and the Merrill Crow methods will then be treated in a drying furnace and then subjected to smelting in order to obtain the dore, the final product of the processing stage. The exhausted pulp will be subjected to an inco process whose purpose is to destruct cyanide by 99%. After that, it will be pressure filtered and 65% of the water will be recycled and returned to the process. The residual solids or tailings which may contain up to 15% humidity, will be deposited together with the barren rock coming from the deposits. These sites will be lined with a geomembrane in order to avoid any type of infiltration. Exceeding water will be deposited in four evaporation ponds, which will extend over a 10 hectare total surface. The plant electrical supply will include the construction of a 132 kilowatt hour power line. It will be 75 kilometers long and will have an interconnection point in Antonio de Viedema. It has also been considered to install a diesel generator to provide power to all the critical facilities where a permanent electrical supply is needed. Extore will accommodate its personnel in three camps located in the project in its southern sector. The exploration camp will accommodate up to 50 people. The mine operation camp will accommodate up to 280 people. And the temporary camp, which can accommodate up to 450 people, will be used for the construction of the mining infrastructure, and after that, it will be dismantled. Each camp will be fitted with a dining room, technical and administrative offices, and training and recreation rooms. It has also been planned to construct a clinic, fuel and liquefied compressed gas deposits, maintenance workshops, a liquid effluence treatment plant, and a controlled landfill for municipal solid waste, among other facilities. Extori has conducted advanced hydrogeological surveys in the area and it has been found that there is adequate water reserves for the project's execution. The company is also carrying out environmental and engineering studies for the installation of a modern desalination plant in the coastal area, approximately 35 kilometers.
to the southeast of the project facilities.